Here we are. We're gathered here at 925 to take a look at the S&P Banking Index called the BIX.X. And here are the big names that are in here. Bank of America uh, happens to be in here. We got Wells Fargo in here. We have a number of banks that are larger cap banks and whatnot in this S&P Banking Index. One of the things that we would like to say, it's been a, uh, we're right up here at the top of resistance and the banking index is pulling back. Calendar 2012, you've had these multi weekly breakouts and consolidations up here to resistance level. It's taken a number of years. However, just to bring everyone up to date, we're not making the highs up here where this index needs to get all the way back up here. This is where their financial crisis started in this index in these banks. We've had calendar one year, calendar 2010, calendar 2011, and now we're in calendar 2012. And once again, a bull market will have to have this index moving a lot higher than where it is here. Looking forward into the end of this calendar year and looking into 2013, it will take, just like I said about the home builders, it's going to take the financials to keep a good support level behind this new bull. A new bull will have to have these financials cooking right along with the housing market. You have to have them. It's been a number of years. It's a weekly chart. It's got a slight reversal. Everyone has been putting this risk on trade every time with these financials for a number of calendar years. They have yet to make it. This is the best weekly narrow range consolidation to the top of resistance that we have seen in a long time. And when you get right back over here, you can take a look here at where that 2008 we can't, here's that trend line. It goes right over here to 2008. Goes straight across to where we currently are at, at this resistance level. That is going to be the wall of resistance. Once we can clear 171.18 on this index, that means that these names in here, the individual leadership names, are going to have to be kicking on all cylinders. And that stimulus packages and FOMC, Ben Bernanke, by the way, uh, we got rates at the lowest level and they are going to stay that way so once again people like the usb they like the wells fargo they like the bank of america up here at nine dollars uh those are some of the key names in here pnc is a great leader in here as well and it's just this particular s p banking index because if that's in bull rally that's what it's going to take to get this above my price target of 1475 by year end. And we already hit that target. And when we hit that target, financial started to pull back a little bit. Nonetheless, I've concluded my year end update on this banking index. And this is the rallies that we've had. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's two months. One, two, three, four. There's three months. And one, two, three, four. So for four months, we've been building a base here, ascending, going higher to a major resistance level. We'll see how these financials act in this next bull run that's around the corner. Once we get in the earnings season, it's going to take these pullbacks in here and it's going to take this index to move higher to keep the S&P going higher.